Congrats to the new IBF champion, Robert Easter. Man, oh man, what a fight. That shit was an epic war back to back. Man, that shit was going back and forth. I'm talking about a good ass fight. See, this is what you get when you put two undefeated fighters, the best versus the best, step inside the ring, let it all hang out, man, let that shit go. Both guys let their hands go tonight. But congrats, shout out to Robert Easter Jr. You did your city proud tonight. Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, stand up. Because Robert Easter did y'all proud tonight. The boy put on for his motherfucking city. He put on for his city tonight. So shout out to him. He got the win. New IBF champion. That was a fucking war, man. Back and forth. Um, Easter got knocked down. I thought his ass was out for the count. He showed a lot of heart, man. And Richard Cormier, too. He showed a lot of heart, too. He got hit with some huge uppercuts. Robert Easter, that motherfucker had that uppercut popping. That shit was popping tonight. Bang, bang. He was landing that fucking uppercut. And uh, like I said, Kwame, he dropped Robert Easter. That motherfucker was staggered. He kept walking in the shots too. He got to be very wary of that shit, man. He got to fix his defense. I didn't like that. A lot of times he was off balance. And the motherfucker would just walk in the shots and get popped. Bang. And um, Kwame just dropped his ass with a hard shot. And the rough route, that shit a knockdown. So, he need to be careful with that shit in the future, man. Just walking into those shots like it ain't nothing. So, fix your defense, bruh. You can improve. I see improvement in you. You got a few flaws, but that's all right, man. That's all right. You won the title. You the new IBF champion. But be careful in the future because a heavier puncher just might knock your ass the fuck out. But I don't want to criticize you too much. You got the win. You put on for your city. You did your city proud. And I saw Adrian Broner. He was in the crowd acting like a motherfucking fool that he is. <laughs> and he called out, uh, what's the boy from the UK? Yeah, Ricky Burns talking about anybody can get it. Americans, Africans. Ricky Burns ran from him. So he say he's going back to 140. But I don't know how the fuck Broner going to make 140 shit. He looked like he was pushing 180 tonight. Damn near heavyweight. Talking about he going back to 140. But AB don't know what the fuck he want to do. One minute he going to 147. The next minute, he's going back to 140. So you never can know what A.B., but, man, congrats to Robert Easter. He put on for a C. He got the IBF title in it. The future is bright for him, man. The stars, the limit, and whatever you want to do is out there for him, man. You got Adrian Broner backing you, so, hey, the sky's the limit for you, bro. So, again, shout out to you. Congrats on your big win. New IBF champion. Can't wait to see who you fight next. And I want to see Cormier back too, man. You lost. Somebody had to lose. Somebody had to lose tonight, man. You got 20 feet of fighter. Somebody oh had to go. And that's just the way it is, man. He lost, but I want to see the boy back in the ring, man. He can scrap. He took a lot of tough punches from Easter. And the motherfucker took that shit and he kept coming forward. So he showed me some heart. The motherfucker got heart and he got a ball sack, man. So I want to see him back in the ring, bro. Hold your head up. You only lost by one point, and to be, to be honest with you, that shit could have went either way. So, hold your head up, bro. You would be back. And uh, again, congrats to Easter. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of the fight. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.